soon as that begins. In the interim, live here, my panel, Liberal Senator Jared Rennick from the Labor Party. Murray Watt, thanks both for your time. Uh, Jared, to start with, are you watching uh, with this next news conference with an open mind about what the plan is and whether you might back it? Uh, Tom, I'm not worried about 2050 at the moment. What I'm worried about right now is what's happening in 2021 and in particular the adverse events that are happening to young people across the country from vaccines in the we'll last week. To that in a moment. No, no, hang we on will. a minute, hang on. We'll in the last topic, week, what I've just... no, 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 in the last week, I've had a 37-year-old woman uh, had a, who's had a stroke, been told she's got to take a second vaccine and is going to lose her job. I've had a 19-year-old girl who's had severe clots in her legs, legs and her lungs. Uh, she's in hospital. She took that Pfizer shot last Thursday night. Mm. I've, got a, I've spoken to a 31-year-old man who's been paralysed since early September down his right-hand side. He's got some movement back in his right hand, right arm. Uh, he has had no income for the last two months. He just took out a mortgage before he got that shot. Uh, he's been told, the only time he's heard from Queensland Health is that he's been, is to be told that he's got to take a second shot. Now, right. it's bad enough that people don't get a choice to take a vaccine, but it's worse that they're being forced to take a second, second vaccine after they've had an adverse event and that the government hasn't yet provided them income support while they've been unable to work. Well, they, they, I'm trying to ask about another question, but if this that is my is new... The issue okay, sure, all right. Well, you posted people. on Facebook. Yep. Let's go to one of the cases you posted on. An Australian yep. actress who suffered TTS after AstraZeneca. The news report stated as a rare side effect. Your comment was rare side effect, not from what I'm hearing. Exactly. You've given me some anecdotal yep. evidence. Have you read yep. the TGA weekly vaccine report? Yeah, I do read uh, yep. weekly TGA. So the lady, the 37-year-old who had the stroke in Perth, mm. she's been designated as a B category, which means they won't say whether or not that stroke was caused by the vaccine. Now, given that she had a reaction so, so, but why minutes, is that? Have you looked into why that is? Well, she had the reaction 15 minutes after taking the vaccine. Now, I, I, you know... But have you just spoken to her? I have just spoken to her. That's, That's right. Nobody else about it? No, well, I mean, I, I, it's not for me to bridge the patient-doctor confidentiality, but she's a police officer. She's credible. She's not making I'm not, stories up. Right, so but, we're not but, going to try and undermine these victims who no, aren't any vaccines or anything right, like that. They're entitled It's important to, be, to deal with evidence yep. here, Senator, Yeah, exactly. Right? That's right. So... The evidence you're presenting is I've spoken to one person who says this. The TGA reports, I mean, there's been no vaccine that's ever been this scrutinised in the history of the world, essentially. 12.6 million doses have been issued, for example, of AstraZeneca. Nine deaths, 156 cases of TTS. So one case per 80,000 of TTS, one death per... 1. OK, so, so these COVID deaths. vaccines have had more reported deaths than all the other vaccines put together in the last 30 years. I think that it's worth looking at these vaccines uh, more they seriously. Are being at. Well, no, they haven't had longitudinal studies done on them. Okay, well, the time that they were reviewed was a very short period of time. And can I say the World Health Organization? But do you dispute came those out? stats? Let's let's get to what we know because well, anyone can talk to one person and say there was a terrible circumstance. I don't know the person. I'm not saying they're not telling okay, the truth. Okay, so, so there I'm have gonna, been deaths from vaccines. That's, okay, so that's fair. But you point. can't talk to one person and say. They're, these stats are wrong. Are you disputing the TGA? Okay, it's because it's not about statistics, Tom. It's about the way these treated people have been treated after they've had an adverse but event. But you said rare side effect, not from what I'm hearing. Are you yeah, saying... No, yeah, yeah, not, not so, from what I'm hearing. I'm so hearing multiple not, stories. I, I have, but, but, I've but just given you okay, three. There have been multiple stories, but that doesn't mean they're not rare because there have been 12.6 million of AstraZeneca and well, more than 30 okay, million vaccines. By the benchmark of prior vaccines, they, this is not rare. Okay? But are you disputing the TGA figures? I haven't... No, well, I'm going to question them about the TGA figures. I don't, I, I don't trust question. Jared because he's given me mis, uh, uh, incorrect information in the past. So, so, on who other, has? so Professor Skerritt, he's giving me either incorrect information or he hasn't done his own research on other the drugs. Published the published TGA past. stats on weekly vaccine reports. Do you That's have any right. concrete evidence or any, any reason why they would be wrong? Well, I'll be asking tomorrow why someone who had a severe adverse event 15 minutes after the vaccine wasn't, uh, you know... But isn't it better to get that answer way. rather than to post on Facebook, not from what I'm hearing, go off one person and undermine the I'm not the going off one person. I'm going off probably 50 people that have contacted me directly and they all say... But so these are all... This is all um, anecdotal evidence. Going it's off anti that... Yeah, I accept that it's anecdotal evidence, but you can go on the World Health Organisation database. There's been over 10,000 reported deaths there from the COVID vaccines. Right, compare that to other adverse events from things like tetanus and polio where they've had something like 20 reported deaths. This is a much more... Uh, there's been a lot more adverse events and a lot more reported deaths from these vaccines than any other vaccine but, uh, in prior time. This should not be ignored, Tom, and I know... I'm not saying ignored, I'm saying that your in... comment... You've made a yep. comment 
You say you're going to follow up on this information. Yep, tomorrow. You've made a comment questioning something before you've done that. Why not no, 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 because I answer? don't get a straight answer. from. I haven't got a straight answer in the past from the TGA. I've got very little confidence at the moment in what they've been telling me. All right. Um, so, yeah. So, But regardless of whether or not the statistics are right or wrong, these are people who haven't been given proper income support, haven't well, been given... Well, income support is one thing, but you can't yep. say regardless if they're right or wrong. If they're right, what are you going to do? Retract that Facebook po post? No, because I don't think they are... No, no, I'm not going to, because there's evidence out there on the VARS in the US, in the, in the World Health Organisation database, Tom. I'll, I'll send you through the links. I'll send you the but, data. But what I'm asking about other vaccines. the TGA data in Australia, you're saying rare, not from what I'm hearing. I'm, I'm saying that that's the important data. It's not that a, a single tragedy or multiple tragedies can't that happen. It's certainly not that people shouldn't get compensation for that. If there's a situation okay. like that, I happen to agree that people should be compensated yeah, yeah. for that. But it's about you saying... Not from what I'm hearing. No, not from what I'm hearing. That's right. That's, that's anecdotal. Don't you see the difference between that okay, and so carefully... Okay, Tom, there's been 589 reported deaths on the TGA website, right? They're saying only nine are attributed yes, to the vaccine. Yes, OK. So yeah, they're yeah, saying no, the other well, 508 important... people got it wrong? No, what they're saying is there is... If you get a vaccine, yeah. you die in the two weeks after that. Yeah. It's not necessarily because you got the vaccine. No, I accept The that. whole of yeah. Australia is basically getting vaccinated. We're yeah. still going to have a death rate. You yeah. could also say the number of people that had a coffee in the past week and then died was staggeringly high. It's the difference between cause and effect. Yeah, That's why that 589 that. Yeah. figure has nothing to do with dying from a vaccine. It is. There's that has been reported. Dying... It might have something to do, right? But and this, I, no, I but it's want not to might. That's the thing. The TGA has done the work. But let me tell you this. No one between 5 There's and 11... There's a difference between dying from, from and after a vaccine. I accept, that. accept that. No okay. one, No one between 5 and 11 has died from a vaccine. There's been one person up until just recently, between 11 and 20, that's died from a vaccine and eight, well, sorry, died with COVID, okay, that had meningitis, right? So why are we even talking about giving vaccines to younger people when the risk, uh, relative risk ratio is very, very low from the dying from COVID anyway? Don't well, you think, if... and, and paediatricians have called for greater testing of uh, these vaccines. That's on fine. Young and when that discussion comes yeah. up around yeah. safety of the vaccine for five to 11 yeah. year olds versus risk, fine. We put it yeah. on the table with yeah. the established figures, not from I spoke to someone, not yeah. from anecdotal evidence. Okay, it's well, just well, not the way you can conduct Well, well Tom, I, I, I'm a senator. I don't have time to go through every <laughs> reported event. Right? So you have, time, you have no time, time to get on your Facebook and post all sorts of nonsense. Uh, you, you're the, saying what's happened to these people I'm is nonsense. Why don't you, you show some I'm respect, saying, Murray? I'm this is a serious issue on your that is being page, ignored day in, day by the government utter. classes, by the government, by the political class, a serious issue here that needs to get greater national attention. Tom, is it any wonder that yep, here Queensland we go. Yeah, go and mock these people, Murray. They've been paralysed. They've had strokes. Yep. Gerard, I didn't interrupt you. Yep. Is it any wonder that Queensland vaccination rates are lagging other states when we have a Queensland LNP senator arm in arm with George Christensen and Clive Palmer running around the state, running around the nation, spreading misinformation about vaccines and discouraging people from getting their vaccines? This is about Queenslanders' health. This is about exactly. Queensland yeah. businesses. This is about Queensland jobs. We all know that the best way to make sure that our economy can open up that jobs can be provided, that we can keep people healthy and safe, is by encouraging people to get vaccinated. And instead, we've got members of Scott Morrison's own government running around Queensland, running around the country, arm in arm with Clive Palmer and all I'm sorts of other anti-vaccination nuts, spreading misinformation, going off anecdotal evidence when the TGA is saying completely the opposite, based on facts and based on data. There is no wonder that Jared Rennick and George Christensen are getting people contacting them with their anecdotal stories. And I have every sympathy for people who've had an adverse reaction. But there is no wonder why Jared, George and other people like that are getting people contacting them because their Facebook pages are littered with anti-vaccination nonsense. It's like These a people red got vaccinated, light. Murray. It's like a they big red light vaccinated. above Don't their Facebook Don't you dare call them anti-vaxxers. It's a, it's a got big, I'm vaccinated. saying you're the anti-vaxxer. Anti Murray, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I've got my children vaccinated. I've got my whooping cough vaccinated. Don't you dare call me 
you need a vaccine. And don't call those people who had adverse events from a. From a uh, no, no. You are You're smearing these Queensland people. Jobs. You're you are them. endangering Queensland's economy and you are endangering Queensland's I am not. I want what, 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 what we know people. about the vaccine, yep. not just from Australia, you cited yep. the World Health Organisation, yep. is that the risks of this vaccine are vastly outweighed by the risks of COVID. People con are contracting it and people dying. It depends. It's a relative risk. If the older you are, then, yeah, do I think you should take the vaccine, ignoring the, you know, the issues with the vaccine? The vast majority of, of the deaths should. in Australia from the vaccine are over 65s. Well, well I, I, there are a lot of younger people who have adverse events, who've got uh, elevated heart rates that won't come down. So there's but a... serious illness, again, comes from... Look, well, this TTS is the serious thing that people contract from the AstraZeneca, can get from the well, AstraZeneca. Well, they seem to be contracting it from Pfizer as well now. It's a, it's a different... Um, it's a different thing they're getting from Pfizer. One per 80,000, that's one case. That's not even necessarily a serious one. Well, that that's, depends that's on rare. how the TGA categorise it. I mean, as I said, I mean, I've heard from one person... TTS is categorised. It's not how they do it. You, you either have this blood clot issue through platelets or you don't. It's not a categorisation thing. But regardless, if, if you've had an adverse event from the first vaccine, but why on earth are we making these people get a second shot? An, an a serious event. adverse event. I'm talking about paralysis. Well, the um, official clotting, advice is if you've had strokes. that, then you talk to health experts about why and you don't necessarily and, get that And they're only shot. giving exemptions for people with anaphylaxis. They are not giving exemptions to anyone else, despite these people getting clots, having strokes. I mean, this what, stuff is inhumane. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen any verified example of someone that got a clot got TTS, well, had serious side effects and then was ordered to get another one. You've cited examples. Okay, well, well, when we... I mean, I, I can show you my phone here. I've got a whole littered with messages from people who are... Who That's are, because I your up the Facebook phone. page is basically a drag because, for every because story Because the media... I have spoken to two journalists it's in the last light. week. It's a red light. You're calling for Tom, people uh, to contact Sorry, Murray, I have spoken to two journalists in the last week about this adverse events right. and they've been told that they're, they're, the media organisations have told them not to talk about okay, adverse so There's a conspiracy events. theory. There's always a conspiracy theory at I, heart. No, no, no. I didn't this say is, Tom, conspiracy. This is a, this here, is, here you go again. Tom, you're, putting, you're ridiculing this, a serious issue here, Murray. This is a classic example. This deserves the respect this, of these people who have, have, have incurred serious injuries. Would you like anyone Don't ridicule to say something? Them. This is a classic example of the Morrison government in action saying one thing No, to it's not the Morrison group, government and one they're not doing another. anything about We've it either. We've got Scott Morrison and his ministers out there every day telling people to get vaccinated, getting stuck into Queenslanders about not getting vaccinated, while at the same time they release their own MPs off the leash to go and spread all sorts of anti vaccine They haven't unleashed evidence they're the same thing on net zero. They're the same thing on net zero. They've got their Liberals in the cities out there saying, oh, yeah, you, we well, care well, about hang climate on, change. Well, speaking of evidence, Murray, there's no evidence that that senators or, or members of the coalition are being unleashed. Well, yeah, look exactly. at this You're making it up. He's, he comes onto a yeah. national well, program. Well, I don't think he's on he's a directive his, here. I don't yeah, think he's no on a directive here from the Prime Minister's no, but office. Yeah. No one... Scott Morrison is not taking any responsibility for the actions of his own government members in, in discouraging people from getting vaccinated, I'm not, from going out there and bagging net zero when Craig you've got Kelly other people saying net zero. Didn't Craig, how much is it going to take for George Christensen to get anything more than a gentle chiding from Barnaby Joyce? How much? How many more interviews right. like well, this? Well, we, we actually believe in free, free speech and something. free thought. They're doing and it on this is an issue that They're deserves more vaccines. attention. They are speaking with forked fork tongues. It is a political strategy right. and it is undermining the vaccination rollout. This is We're not about to... undermining finding a pro solving COVID, right? This is about dealing with young people who have had their lives severely affected, have had their livelihood severely affected, and they are not being heard. So who's and not giving them income support? What well, that's it. That's our government, that's and I'm going to and I'm going to raise that. I don't think many people have an issue with income support. Maybe I accept that, Murray. I accept that. But around the evidence about it. And, and side effects, as I said, I've pointed to the figures for you. Uh, 12.6 million of AstraZeneca, 156 cases of TTS, or one in 80,000, and one death per 1.4 million jabs. It's not zero risk, but COVID is far from zero risk. Uh, anyway, I accept that. Yeah. Jared, Murray, talk again soon. Let's get. Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.